Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, it's Friday. Isolation Friday, part two. <laughs> Anyways, um, we have a new arrival. For those who are on the Tubular Lantern group, or the Antique Lantern group, um, the, uh, the photos have been flowing. And I've been enjoying this lantern uh, since it arrived uh, earlier this week. So this is a Rayo uh, number 82. And I purchased this off of eBay. Uh, I won it in an auction for much less than I anticipated for. Um, you know, it's it's a really cool lantern. The uh, number 82 uh, Rayo, made by Pritchard Strong Company, is just, just a handsome lantern. I mean, yeah, it's somewhat apart right now because I'm preparing it to clean it up a bit. Now, you all remember the number eight, uh, 77 that I have, the Cold Blast number two, number 77. That thing is big. Well, this thing is exactly the same size. Um, it is the same pattern. Uh, the only difference is, is it has a copper fount versus the, uh, the metal, uh, you know, steel fount. So, this one is really unique because of the copper. Uh, they do fetch a little bit more money on average than the uh, number 77 or 92 um, because of the uh, the copper is definitely attractive to a lot of collectors. Now, I wanted a number 82 um, eh, for for a year or so when I discovered that they had such things. Um, a copper fount rail would, was definitely something I was interested in. Um, I don't know what it is about this particular style that uh, I really like. It just has a real understated design about it. It's very timeless, even though it's from the early 1900s. It's at least 1910, 1912, give or take. Um, so, since it has all the same details as the number 77 that I have, or similar to the number 100, which were both made in 1912, it's easy to say this one is definitely in that ballpark. Um, I'm yet to take a close-up photo of the uh, burner chamber and see what the patent dates are. So I'll know for sure exactly when this was made. Now, uh, going through it, it's all there. It's very solid. Um, there is a rust hole in the burner cup. So the cup that holds the burner in place, there's a substantial chunk of that missing, but it's not, uh, it won't, doesn't allow, it doesn't harm its performance at all. Um, so I'm going to try and clean that and keep it from rusting further. Um, yeah, because if I have to buy another Rayo just for a burner cup, that's going to stink because I don't want to have to sacrifice on another lantern just for the, the burner cup. But now if it's, you know, a junker to begin with, but that part's fine, you, we understand where we're going with that. But anyways, things to think about down the road because oddly enough, the burner cup is not brass or copper, it is steel. And it's soldered into the top of the copper fount. Anyhow, that being said, I'm going to be... Uh, going over this with WD-40, uh, some scotch pad and a little wire brush here in the corners. The fount I am undecided with. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a, a, a polish job on it. It has a real nice age to it. It has just the right patina that I really enjoy. It's, um, it has a few minor little dents, but nothing major. Um, so it's in really good shape. and it, has, it just wears its age so well. It just has that nice warm tone to it. So I'm not sure I'm going to be polishing it much, if any. Uh, but the rest of the lantern will receive, uh, you know, the traditional rest abatement tra treatment with some mother's polish and, you know, make it look, look nice and uh, original. So that's what we're doing with that today. And um, since we're, there's really no other thing going on this weekend because the world's shut down, <laughs> that's all right. We got that. So anyways, everybody. Take it easy, and we'll be doing another video soon of an update on the Rio 82. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.